I'm here outside of the Apopka Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to sit down with the president. I'm not going to record too much of this meeting, but I just wanted to let y'all know where I'm at. This is all type of information of different organizations who've stopped by the Chamber of Commerce. I'm pretty sure they're members as well. This is Kathy. It was my first time officially meeting her, and her husband is a big fan of my vlogs and what I'm doing in the community. So it's funny I met her before I met him, but shout out to Kathy's husband. Thanks for the uh, support. She has a business called Effective Digital Solutions. So EDS is the acronym. She specializes in graphic design services, custom marketing materials and drone and real estate photos. Now if you notice in the photo, Kathy is holding a treat. It is a lollipop, but it's not a normal lollipop. It's a cake pop. That cake pop is made by this lady named Dresa. I've not met her yet, but I told Kathy I'm going to plug Dresa into the vlog and put some light on her business. As you can see, she is the owner and baker at Desserts by Dre. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm, recording, I'm recording, but this is not going to be for sound. I'm it's just, not audio. This is literally me trying some cake, and I'm going to give her a shout out. Dre. Oh, okay. Dre, son? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. I really... I was going to say I have a problem, but I don't feel like it's a problem. You know, I feel like you get one life, and you should put whatever you want to put into your mouth while you're here. And I'ma eat me some sweets, baby. That's one thing I'm gonna eat is me some sweets. And let me tell you something about this here. Cake popped oh. All right, so Kate, the president of the Apopka Chamber of Commerce, is showing me and telling me a little bit about this idea called Planting Apopka. And it's all about getting the community together and involved and how that is really the key in building the business relationships. The economy doesn't thrive without just community activity and involvement between people. And that's really, don't y'all hear me saying that in all of my content? Like, this is perfect. That's why I feel like I'm supposed to be collaborating and working with the chambers of commerce in different cities. So I'm just, uh, I'm grateful that Kate is the first person at any of the chambers of commerce that has actually made an effort to really start working with me and helping me. So I think this is great. So the idea for planting a popka actually comes from the history of the town because Apparently, uh, Apopka is the capital of indoor foliage, or they're well known for that. And indoor foliage is just basically indoor plants, greenery, and although this is an indoor foliage, it is about the planting and the greenery and the growing of the crops and the fruits and whatever you want to plant, vegetables. So I think the idea is simple and it is a good thing because Anything that has to do with connecting to nature is a good thing. And the fact that it's open to anybody in the Apopka community, if you want to just stop by the Chamber of Commerce, ask about planting Apopka and how you can get involved, it's literally just about showing up and helping out with the plants, bringing people together, and doing something good for the earth and for the community because, I mean, why not? Whatever we hear in the community is needed. Mm -hmm. So a few weeks ago, we helped out with another nonprofit and some contractors and they were we were able to help feed a bunch of volunteers all week and the contractors all week. So again, as Kate said in the beginning of this clip, Apopka Serves is basically a, a branch of the Chamber of Commerce and they just focus on the needs of the community. Lodge 36 was actually here before the city of Apopka. So this town, this is Orange Lodge. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. This town was known as the Lodge mm -hmm. um, before it ever became known as the town of Popka. So when um, it kind of got converted to the city, they went one mile off of each corner, and this became the center of town. And that's how they built the city limits for the city of Popka. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's not him. Yeah, that's, that's right. I just him This is Jerry. He's on the board of directors of the Chamber of Commerce. And he was basically just giving me a little history of Apopka and explaining this photo. And he said he's on the photo or he has a connection to the photo. But he was actually talking about the building at the top. I thought he was saying that he was actually on the photo. So I'm like, I'm looking at the dude with the mustache. And I'm like, is that him? By the way, this is, you said your name is Jerry? Yes. 
Okay. And he's with Duke Energy, as you can see. And yeah, he was telling me a little bit about what he does. So basically, you respond to all the, the needs of the local area in Apopka when they need light or when... Lighting. Like, yeah. Uh, lighting on the roads, lighting in the subdivisions. And you're a board member with the Apopka Chamber. I am on the board of directors with the Chamber of Commerce. Shout out to Jerry. He's a really cool guy. And this is Jeans. She works at the Apopka Chamber of Commerce. And I met her at the Peacock event at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn. But I don't think I was able to take a wave picture with her there. So, you know, I had to just, I had to step into her office and I told her, hey, sit in your chair. We need to really get the whole vibes. We're at work, baby. Let's, let's get this wave picture in right this second. <laughs> so earlier I got some footage and I was out in the, um, the front of the chamber. And I showed y'all a little bit of the area where Kate started planting some, um, some things. Tomatoes, peppers. And it's for, what's the name of the thing again? Planting a popka. There it is. So I'm just gonna try one of these peppers here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it does taste like a bell pepper. Hmm. Fresh. Straight out the soil. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not mad at it. My name is Alexander Ayota, and you can join the wave movement by becoming an official patron on my Patreon. Every day, the goal is to spread love and to use social media as a platform to spark more human connection. This is the energy that will improve communities and eventually change the world.